Hi, Chuck here again with a wrap up on the mini quad build I did using the Racer Cube all in one flight controller. What I have is a 210 millimeter mini, mini quad that I built up. Um, pretty basic um, X frame setup. Um, really compact uh, middle section in which to try to fit the electronics in. Um, so uh, here's just a quick look. At, uh, at the build here. Let me um, quickly just give a rundown of some of the major components that I did in the build. Um, it's a 210 millimeter X frame. I'm using the uh, GART Z2205S 2300KV motors. I have on here currently the 5030 three bladed props and I have a HS1177 camera and I'm using a TX360 5.8G video transmitter. Um, just a quick um, quick weight on this uh, build here. I know people like to see this. So let's just um, throw it on the scale here. And so right now we have the all up uh, build here including battery and um, voltage monitor. And we're looking at um, 489 grams as a total build. So um, this is my first mini quad. So I don't really know if that's great or not, but it's, it uh, seems pretty light. Okay. Well, my um, impressions of the oh, the other way, my impressions of the Racer Cube um, all-in-one package is that it is. Um, actually a little bit big for a 210 millimeter X frame to mini quad. Um, it's tall. Um, I really had a um, problem um, really fitting it in with the frame and um, it has a quirky form factor. The wiring is a little bit strange and it just makes it a little bit difficult to wire up. So uh, I talked about that in one of my earlier videos but um, let me just really give a a really a good idea of the kind of modifications that had to be made to fit this in. So, so the um, stack height of the um, Razor Cube could be quite small, and right now I do have it very, very uh, low profile. And the way I've done that is I've had to reduce the uh, standoffs, um, you know, at the frame. Uh, between the frame and the, and the speed control and also between the speed control and the flight controller board. Um, so even with that reduction, the um, frame that I was using had a um, clearance problem and I had to actually remove a lot of carbon fiber to actually get it to, to clear. The other problem with the wiring is that um, the width of the um, speed control really puts the wires right out into the area where you're going to be grabbing the uh, quad to be handling it. So um, I did have to wire them at an angle to try to avoid that problem as much as I could. But still, when you grab it, um, when you grab it from the bottom, you're still going to be touching the wires at some point. So you have to be very careful not to put any additional fatigue on the uh, cables there. Um, Oh, I did also have to reposition the um, HS1177 camera because the SD card, uh, very difficult to see here, but the SD card actually protruded a little bit too far forward and didn't let you lower the camera angle. So um, I'm anticipating that I want to run the, the angle of the camera a little bit, little bit lower um, as I start playing with this and as I get better, um, increase the uh, camera tilt. So just a couple weird things about the um, the form factor of the uh, Racer Cube. So I took this out for a um, short maiden flight last night, and I can say that Beta Flight using the stock PIDs definitely work. It uh, was very nice to fly. Um, there's room for improvements. Uh, I was getting some uh, oscillations when the, um, descending. Um, I couldn't tell whether I was descending into my own prop wash, but uh, in any case, maybe some fine tuning, but it flew great, but I only flew it for like one battery pack. Um, some of the problems here so far, um, I got, I've been working on RSSI and just, just not, does not seem like 
it's going to be working. I'm still trying to figure it out, but we'll see. And I did get a couple beeps from my radio when I was just testing it. I wasn't flying very far away, so it looks like the FR Sky range might be a little bit limited. Um, just a note about upgrading to Betaflight. You cannot flash this flight controller using the UI. It doesn't work to upgrade clean flight and it doesn't work to flash beta flight onto the thing. So um, it is very difficult to get it upgraded. So one thing I noticed when I plugged it in as I was jumpering the boot pins is it came up as a STM device in DFU mode and beta flight nor clean flight could recognize it. So I did do some research. I went to finally ended up at the STM Electronics website and downloaded the DFU file manager and the DFU SE demo. And between those two, I was able to take the Betaflight image, repackage it, and upload it using the DFU SE demo. So um, if you go to the STM Electronics website, download these two packages. I think they're all in the same zip file. Um, the file manager just basically will allow you to repackage the um, .hex firmware file and the, and save it into the format um, that can be used by the DFU SE demo and you can upload it to the board and it worked no problem but you do have to bridge those pads and get it into um, DFU mode so that's just a quick clue if anybody wants uh, more details um, you know put some uh, put a question in the comments so I can give you as much information as I can so Looking at um, this overall package, I would say that the pluses of this flight controller is that it looks cool. Um, I really do like the way it looks. Um, it, it just, like I said, it looks cool. And uh, this is my first mini quad, so I'm pretty happy with the, how clean the build looks. And it just really looks um, just integrated and, and uh, high tech. Um, the BL Heli pass through works great. I was able to upgrade my ESCs, no problem there. And the uh, cube is mostly integrated. There's a little bit of wiring that you'll have to do, but uh, you basically plug it together and they give you all the plugs. Um, one of the other pluses is it is upgradable to BL Heli. I'm sorry, um, Betaflight, but beware I, um, what I said earlier about the, using the DFU um, uploader. So some of, some of the things that can be improved with this package, I think that the form factor and the wiring just needs to be reviewed. Otherwise, you know, put it in a bigger quad. Use a 250 millimeter or larger quad. Um, be really cheap to include some shorter standoffs to reduce the stack height. Um, they'd really have to fix the RSSI problem. And maybe it's just a documentation issue, but please fix the documentation. It's just very lacking. So anyway, there you have it. Um, I'll do, probably do a test flight and maybe do a little bit of a uh, flight video with this as soon as I get my GoPro on it. But um, here's the build. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, please hit me up in the comment section. And um, yes, yeah, subscribe. I'm really uh, trying to build up this channel. Okay. Well, there we have it. Thanks. Have a great day.